been a long ride. You know, I played Mini Tours first. Um, Adams played some Hooters, um, and then I went to go play the start playing the Sunshine Tour in South Africa when I couldn't get through Q School my first three years. Finally, I got through Q School. Then I got a final stage. I think I missed my full card by one shot, if I remember correctly. Then I was full exempt on the European Tour for the rest of that year and two more years. So, you know, then I played European Tour a lot and Web.com, I mixed the two. And, uh, you know, finally this year I got through the Web.com regular season to get on the PJ Tour, which has always been my goal. My strengths are usually on harder golf courses, uh, driving the ball, hitting long irons. Um, but I had to figure out a way, you know, to get better with the short irons. And, you know, I think my weakness is, was always my putting, but it's come around. It, at times it's been my strength too now. So, um, you know, you figure out quickly, after being on this tour for a couple of years, what you need to do to shoot low scores. You gotta be aggressive, but you gotta know when to be aggressive too. I remember when I was a kid, on, you know, Sunday nights at 10 o'clock, I turn on the TV, you know, and the PJ Tour started. You know, from eight o'clock to 10 o'clock, any, any of those times, you know, and I just watched the PJ Tour and, uh, you know, I just remember that I wanted to play on the PJ Tour. That was my goal. You know, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. And, uh, you know, but hopefully if I can play on the PJ Tour for a number of years, um, I'll feel like uh, I've reached my goal. Playing on the PJ Tour is a dream come true for me since I was a little kid in South Africa. 